Today we're going to talk about a new feature with Starrybot, and that is the ability to add this poll bot that actually coordinates with it. So here we have Starrybot.xyz, and we will be showing a few things kind of from the Discord side. We have a guild right here that's just for testing, and this has me as the owner here, and then also me as a non-owner, so we can see what that looks like. There's a new feature where you can switch users actually. So we'll also have the web version of Discord and then we will be able to switch it to um, the non-admin. So if you're an admin like we are currently, you can go ahead and add the bot as normal. Select the server. Here is the server for demonstration purposes. Allow this. So this is the first bot that we'll be looking at, and then the second bot will be the Pole Master bot. And we'll show some links uh, and shout out to the person who made that. That's going to be very useful for us. Great. So if we go back here, um, Starrybot has now joined. And let's just also do the other bot. Uh, beforehand, let's take a look at the original. So shout out to... Uh, Matthias, who has done work on this, it looks like the last update was in late 2020, um, by this individual. And so here we have a page where we can add Pullmaster Feet Starry Bot. So I'm going to add that to the same server here. Okay, now Pullmaster is also in here. Great, so typically what you do, set up a token rule. And so once you add a starry bot, you can do the slash command and you can hit start typing starry and it'll show you all this different stuff to do. As an admin, the first thing you wanna do is add a token rule being like, if someone has this amount of tokens or NFT or whatever, please give them this role. And this will also create a role for you. So let's do something pretty simple here. Let's say this is a native token and it gives us some options of ones that we currently support. If you'd like to add another uh, chain on Cosmos, go ahead and hit this, and that'll give you to a type form there where we can get back to you. Stars, how many native tokens? Well, let's go back over here, take a look at my Kepler account that I'll use to sign this with. So I have one star that's liquid, and then more than one that are, that are uh, staked. So let's just say two. What is the role name? Um, some stars. And then do you want to count only staked tokens? We can get to this in a bit. Um, for now, let's say no, let's just count them all. Meaning let's count the liquid ones, let's count the staked ones, and the third one will also count is ones that were staked that are currently being unstaked called unbonding. So, no, so let's say no, let's count them all. Great, so now you have the role some stars for the token gated channels. You can tell that this worked. You can go up to server settings, roles, and here's some stars. Zero people are currently added to this, right? So now let's go ahead and let's pretend that we are this other person. So we can switch users and we can do this kind of in the browser. And so you, you may notice too that this user can try to do token rule add and it says admin only right here. So they can try to do this, but you are not allowed to since you are not an admin. Um, people who are not admins will be able to do the starry join, which is what everyone does to really participate. Get link to verify your account with Kepler. So you do starry join. It sends you to verify.starrybot.xyz. It gives you this unique kind of session ID. Say yes, let's go there. And we're going to sign in with Kepler. It gives us a unique Carl Saganism to sign. A little more interesting than just a number nonce. You say approve. It does offline signing. It sends this to an Express.js backend that says, okay, I got this thing that you signed. Um, did who signed this? Did they sign the right thing? Okay, cool. Now we have a link between their Cosmos address and their Discord ID, 
And now this site will tell us that we added a role, some stars. So let's return here. And we can see indeed that now this person has some stars as a role. So typically from kind of the token gating side, what you'll want to do is create a new channel. That's going to be fam voting. So this is only for people who have a certain role who are in the fam. And you can say, okay, well, what kind of roles are allowed in here? How about the some stars role? So you create the channel. As you can see, since this is the Discord app up here, of course, I can see everything. Uh, maybe it's more useful to go to our browser tab. And indeed, you can see that uh, we are allowed to see fam voting because we have this role. So let's have a poll inside of this channel that only people can see if they have kind of verified in here. We will say, now we're going to talk to the poll master bot that has been modified. And we're going to say PM advanced. This seems to be the best uh, way to do stuff. This means like poll master, let's create an advanced poll. What is the question for your poll? Best coffee roast identifier coffee i think i need to do o2 here do you want your poll to be anonymous it's kind of cool to have anonymous that just means that uh, people will use the emoji reaction but then it'll get removed so anonymous um, let's say you can do a few different things here but an example for custom options is just having some of these be comma separated so light medium dark or t please and then here I will just say this is a classic poll. And I'd like to have each person just do a single choice. And now we can show the vote live. Now here is a, it's a good idea to say, like this poll also can only be used by people who have some stars, which is the same role for this channel. So we're gonna hit two. That means that now this poll is sort of like intrinsically linked to that role as well. And this last one, it has to do with waiting. That's a little more advanced than we want it to be. So I'm gonna say zero. This is going to expire in 10 seconds. And so now we have this, I'm gonna say medium roast, B. What that's gonna be doing is it's gonna to go to the StarryBot backend and make sure that this person still has the ability to be in this room with that role using this poll, basically. And as you can see, this took the emoji and got rid of it, but it did count my vote right here it's for, for one vote. Now it ended because it was only a 10 second poll. And what's kind of nifty is you can actually say, hey, please send me this um, CSV file and it will actually send you this. You can kind of see who all voted for it, uh, choices, all this stuff. Number of participants, one, who was it, all that jazz. So back to here. Now let's say that we want to prepare for maybe people who have accidentally or maybe even on purpose gotten the role and then sent their assets to someone else and so then now someone else also has the role and they're also able to participate but but both people don't shouldn't be having the role anymore or, or situations similar to that um, now when we talk about this kind of problem you can think of it as we need to essentially sync the blockchain to discord roles that's one way of looking at it uh, in this particular case, I think it makes sense to really just have it be people who are engaging with these polls will be updating. Everyone else will not get updated unless they're actually trying to participate with this. What's the best way to do that? Well, I think here you will, when people go to click on an emoji to vote, that is where we can say, okay, let's sort of refresh our understanding of who this person is and if they still should have be having all of these roles. From the admin side, edit the token rule. And we can say we want to edit which one? This one. Let's say it's the role amount. 
and we're changing the roll amount to be like a whole lot of stars that I do not have. Okay, finished. So you'll note that Mike.dmg still has some stars here. So that didn't happen like automatically. Now, let's quickly go through the same idea with the PM advanced. Set this up and then we will participate in that poll back in the browser again where we're um, Mike.dmg. And here we're in, we're still the admin. PM advanced. And then we quickly go over to the browser and we're going to change our mind for some reason to dark. And it is going to send us a message saying, you're not allowed to vote in this poll. Only users with at least one of these roles can vote some stars. And you can see that I'm actually no longer in there anymore. I only see general because I was kind of kicked out of there. And I no longer have that role. So this is, shows it like updating as soon as someone is trying to, to vote on it. So this is a way where people can actually have like kind of more casual voting if you have a voting system or a poll that doesn't need to be fully on chain, doesn't need to use a DAO, doesn't need to be kind of verifiable by a ledger, you can still have a kind of casual poll that is meaningful that will update and not allow people to kind of either accidentally or not accidentally uh, game the system. So we will be adding this link to do Pollmaster feet Starrybot uh, to starrybot.xyz soon. Uh, it'd be great if folks want to also help out in testing this bot. We have a Starrybot community and there's a bot testing channel that you can join. And this will be a way that we can test this out and get ready to have this uh, go live. Thanks so much, cheers.